This syndrome is due to the presence of an abnormal electrical conduction pathway between the atria and the ventricles. Normally, it is the AV node which connects atria and the ventricles. Normally, the impulse travels from SA node, AV node, bundles, the left and right bundles, and then Purkinje of S fibers. As you can see in this image, in this syndrome, there is an accessory circuit connecting the atria and the ventricles. This is called bundle of Kent and the impulse can travel independent of AV node to the ventricles so it will cause pre-excitation of the ventricles it is the most common type of ventricular pre-excitation syndrome since ventricles are uh, pre-excited that is why you can see this characteristic delta waves which is normally not there in the ECG and if you look at the PR interval it will be shortened obviously because ventricles are getting excited before they should actually do and because of this pre-excitation the characteristic delta waves appear as I said earlier now we will zoom onto the CCG to show you clearly what it appears to be and later we will be seeing a real time ECG where this you can appreciate delta waves and uh, shortened PR interval what happens is this bundle of Kent is present usually in 0 0.1 to 0 0.2% of the population normally and if you see the ECG coming up right now here e, that's, th that's the arrow you can see that is the delta wave and the PR interval is characteristically shortened what is most important in these kind of diseases is that you don't give them AV node blockers if you give them AV node blockers it will block the AV node or it will slow down the conduction from AV node that also means the connection through the bundle of Kent would be increased and that is why the patient will be more predisposed to developing the arrhythmias so such drugs are adenosin, virabamil, beta blockers all these drugs they depress or uh, I should say they suppress the AV node which should not be given in the cases of WPW syndrome and uh, this uh, especially this syndrome can result in re-entry circuit supraventricular tachycardias which is the most uh, uh, dreaded uh, complication of this condition so this was a short review of WW syndrome hope you like it please subscribe to our channel for more short reviews of many many medical conditions